When I wrote Gun From Hell, I was still living in northern New York. At the time, I was working for a government contractor. My only job with that company was to basically sit and wait for a mechanic to order a part. So they issued you these little green military notebooks. They were about this big. And I wrote the first draft of Gun From Hell longhand in those little notebooks. I had a stack of those by the time I was done. Consecutive drafts after that, I would get off work and go to this bar called the Paddock Club. It was in Watertown. And there was this little window area. It was kind of a nook. It was sort of a little private area. And I would go there every day after work and have a beer and just sit there and just type draft after draft. I did about a dozen drafts. And then it wasn't really ready to film until I decided to relocate to Colorado. A production company out here in Colorado saw my trailers for my, my previous films. They retaught me storytelling from the ground up. I unlearned and relearned everything that I thought I knew about production, about filmmaking, editing, cinematography, lighting, and they taught me the proper way to do everything. I'm really glad I didn't jump into production. It wouldn't have been as good, I think, if I did that. So I waited a while and eventually it got, it got made after I learn the proper way to do things.